Welcome to the Soulmate Twin Flame Journey for the week of March 26th. This is where we're going to take a look at different soulmates in different groups and see what's going on between you and your soulmate where you're at in your journey. Some of you are just starting your journey now, while others are actually, you know, they've been in the journey for a couple of years. So we're going to see where you're at and if we can catch your group in this reading and we'll continue on Vimeo. And keep in mind, this does coordinate with what's happening with the X. So make sure you check on both sides. It'll give you a better idea. I try to get a, a little bit of a scenario of what, what I see, what they're telling me is going on in their journey. So, for this group of you, we have Justice, the Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Let me pull out the clarifying cards. Okay. So, Justice is all about the scales of karma being put in balance. This can also indicate a legal situation taking place between you or and your former partner or perhaps your uh, soulmate and their partner. But it, what I'm being told is this is really about karma. It's about putting the scales back into balance. And some of you are in a position right now where you feel really grounded and very centered. You've gone through the healing, okay? You, you've, you're coming out of the heartbreak. We have the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, the heartbreak, that, that deep pain that took place between you and your soulmate. So you're feeling very grounded right now. You've got one foot on the ground, one foot out. You're juggling things. You're managing things. You're actually... Uh, you're doing well in your healing. When I say you, I am referring to the chaser. I'm going to read this as though the person viewing is the chaser, but it can be opposite for you. So you're in a position right now where you feel that you are emotionally open, like you've done a lot of the healing, and you're ready to start a new beginning, but you're not sure what direction to go. Now, what's taking place within your soulmate is they actually are getting ready to come back and give you an offer. You haven't heard from them. This is going to come from out of the blue. This is communication you are not expecting. They also have gone through their healing. This is a really lovely energy right now. There's a lot of healing that has taken place and they want to come forward and give you their offer. Okay, they want to apologize. And this is a sincere apology. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Whenever we see the Pentacles come in, it really is a sincere apology. Now, for some of you in this group, you will also, it will accompany an opportunity to move forward together as a partnership. And for others of you in this group, it's actually the apology going to set the karma back in balance between the two of you. Yeah. This particular group, you're about 16 to 18 months, okay? And the average soulmate journey from the time you meet your soulmate until the healing is done is approximately 16 to 24 months. It depends on each person and what they need to heal. And I am referring to the chaser side. The runner side could take even longer than that. Um, it depends on what their issues are and how they are trying to avoid healing. This particular group, your soulmate has done the work themselves. Now, neither of you are completely healed in this group but you're feeling a lot better about yourself. You're really starting to feel grounded. They also are, are feeling grounded and they recognize who you are. That's why they're coming back to put things back into balance, to set the scales of karma back into balance. Because in the beginning, the two of you came together. It was amazing. And then when you both pulled back, there was a lot of, of you doing the chasing, them barely communicating. And I'm seeing that you even said to your soulmate, 
you are my soulmate. Can you feel the connection? And what I'm seeing for this group of you, they didn't answer you. They didn't tell you, yeah, you're my soulmate. I feel the connection. They just ignored that. They didn't acknowledge that you said that to them. So this is, again, is about 16 months of a journey. And what you don't know is they've received it's like they've come to the inner knowing that you are a soulmate. They've recognized this connection between the two of you. So this apology is gonna come in and they really are all about the apology. They recognize the wrong that they did to you. They're going to acknowledge that they ignored your, uh, you know, they didn't um, answer you. They're going to acknowledge they were they may not tell you that they were keeping you on hold, but they were because they were trying to clear up their own karmic situation over off the side. But the thing is, is they really, really do want to set things back into balance. So this is a really lovely energy. And I'm seeing the two of you have not spoken in about five to six month time frame. Five to six months, no communication. So you've had a, a, a good period, about six months of healing that has taken place within yourself. So now you're at the point where you're ready to open up. You're feeling more confident in yourself. You see, the Queen of Cups is a person who actually has an abundant world around them. They like the world around them. So you're really getting um, grounded and you have done the work so you're able to open up emotionally but the healing's not completely over now what i'm going to do at this point is i'm going to go ahead and continue this on the other side on vimeo and we'll see where it's going a little bit further i will also look into different groups of you um, at least two, if not three, and see where you're at in your journey so that we can kind of get an idea on both sides of where you two are. So this is really good energy. Um, yep, if you would like to click the link below, that will shoot you over to Vimeo and we can um, continue this and look at different groups. Make sure when you go to Vimeo, you scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the correct date, which is March 26th. You can look at any of them if you want, but this is March 26th. So thank you for watching. If you like this, please hit the subscribe button. That keeps the channel up and going, and I wish you much love.